Huh? Where am I? Whoa, dude! W what happened to you? He's still breathing. Okay, don't worry, man. I'll go get some help. You are my senpai. Um. My only senpai. You give me the a mask and a robotic this voice. Is Who are you? Aw, oh, senpai. You're down already? All I did was give you a little love tap. I thought we would be able to play a little more. Senpai? I... I asked you a question. Who are you? And what are you doing with that knife? Well, senpai, this is what happens when you cheat on me with another girl. We could have been so happy together. S stay back! I'm really sorry that you made me do this, senpai. Don't worry, I'll still love you, and I know that our family would have been a great one. I'll hold that with me forever. I, I don't want to hurt you! Stop! Huh? Oh, it was one of those stupid dreams again. They always feel so real. Of course I'd get such a terrible one on my first day here. But in that dream, she called that guy Senpai. Does that mean she's the... Did I just witness a... Ugh, <sighs> whatever. If it's in the past, then I have nothing to worry about. Wait. Oh crap. What time is it? 8.18! Dang it! I promised I'd meet Selenia at the bus stop at 8 o'clock sharp! Crap, crap, crap. Gotta freshen up. Okay. Alright, good. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Mom, I'm leaving! Oh, she's already gone. Well, whatever. Hold on, Syl! I'll be there soon! <sighs> Syl! I'm here! Anthony! Took you long enough. I told you we'd meet up at 8. It's 8.24. We ended up missing the bus because of you. Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah. You're just lucky I came at all. To be honest, you should have just taken the bus and gone without me. What kind of best friend would I be if I did that? Probably the bestest one. I would have just gone back home and went right back to bed. It would have been glorious. Yeah, no. I can't let that happen. I'm determined to make you go to school as much as possible this year. Come on. Not only did we move to a new city, but we're in high school now. This is your chance to make a good impression for once. Now let's begin walking. Uh, so, some things are just never going to change. I know you mean well, but... I mean, our moms are rich. We kind of don't even need to go to school. The only reason that we're here in the first place is for their newest business prospect so that they can make even more money. Anthony, for you being such a genius, you're really dumb sometimes. You know what's better than money? Knowledge. Just promise me you'll try and behave this time. But I... And don't even bring up the fact that you ace everything you actually do. That's not the point here. Okay. Uh, I'll try my best, but only under one condition. What is it? Promise me you'll get a boyfriend this year. Huh? I just feel so bad. You shouldn't always be hanging around with a bum like me for the rest of your school days. You gotta get a nice gentleman by your side. You don't want to keep having me as your protector forever, right? I mean, I wouldn't mind that. What was that? Oh, nothing! Um, uh, yeah, um... I'll think about getting a boyfriend. Is that good enough? <laughs> oh, you're just so embarrassed at the thought of having one? That's so precious! Well, either way, that's fine with me. Okay then, let's head off to school to get you a boyfriend! H hey wait up! I said I'd think about it! <laughs> so, this is it, huh? I didn't expect the building to be so big. Eh, I'm not that impressed. I've changed my mind. I want to go home. Oh, come on. Give it a fair chance. It can't be that bad. I'm sure you'll have tons of fun. We're talking about the high school that the infamous murderer girl went to. They called her the Yandere or something like that, right? There's nothing fun about that. The fact that this city is even nicknamed Yandere City is a testament to how not fun this is going to be. You're the only one who's no fun. Just stop being such a Debbie Downer and enjoy yourself. Please, for me. Ugh, 
Dang it, dude. I'm just not allowed to stay in a bad mood around you, am I? Alright, I'm sorry for being such a downer. I promise I'll give this school a fair shot. Yay! I promise you won't regret it. Alright, let's get to class. This should be interesting. Looks like this is the classroom. Let's get this over with. Promise me you'll be on your best behavior, okay? Huh. My best behavior. Yeah, I can do that. Howdy, hey there, classroom! It's me, Anthony, and I'm here bringing you myself! Anthony! What the heck? What? You told me to be positive and on my best behavior. That was a little... much. Eh, nah. Anyways, what's up, Teach? Um, and who might you two be? I'm Anthony Sizzles, and this is Selenia Flowers. Very nice to meet you. Ah, I see. Very nice to meet you both. Well, I would normally chew you out for being late, but I'll let you slide since it's the first day of school. Thanks, Teach! Please, call me Mr. Sneakums. Now then, both of you take a seat and I'll continue with class. Selenia, you can sit next to Kayo, the little lady in the front row. And Anthony, you can sit next to... Hmm... Brandon, the boy with the red sleeves in the third row. Wait... Isn't that... that that's... that's the kid from the dream I had this morning! But... but... How is that possible? That dream was from the past, right? Was I wrong? Mr. Sizzles? Uh, huh? Please sit down. Oh, uh, yeah, s sorry. How... how is this possible? Wait, what if this is the guy? He, he looks a little younger, though. I've had dreams in the future a few times, but... I don't know, maybe. But dreams from the past are just so much more common. Ugh, I don't know. I'll just have to ask him about his relationships and see if he cheated on anyone like that girl from the dream said he did. So, you have a girlfriend? Uh, what? Me? I'm obviously talking to him. Yeah, you look like the kind of person that would have a girlfriend. I do? Yeah, so, uh, do ya? Uh, no, not yet anyways. Not yet? So, maybe sometime this year? Um, well... What is it? I don't swing that way, man. What? N no, you, you got it all wrong, dude! I'm not trying to come on to ya! Oh, crap. Did I just say that out loud? I should probably fix this before Selenia gets mad at me. Mr. Sizzles, I see you're having a very interesting conversation with Brandon over there, but it's class time now. Anyways, we were just about to start introducing ourselves. Would you like to go first, seeing as you seem to be quite the chatterbox? Oh, yeah, okay, I'll go first. Alright then, stand up and tell us a little bit about yourself. Cool. Alright, so first, I'm probably the smartest dude in this room. I don't even need to- oh, oh, wait. Things are supposed to be different this year. That was an example of people I hate. I love kittens and puppies, and I will help tutor each and every single one of you if you need help. But I know you are all bright little rays of sunshine who don't need me. You are all perfect in your own special way. Oh yeah, and my name is Anthony Sizzles. Also, what I said earlier to Brandon, ignore that. Brandon was trying to come on to me. Wait, what? What? Is there an issue? Uh, no. Yeah. So, that's all there is to me. That was... interesting, Anthony. I can already tell that you might be a problem, so I'm going to have to move you away from the entire class. What? Nope! Selenia, I'm out. No, wait, stop. Please, Mr. Sneakums, give Anthony another chance. This dude is just like all the others. Hating me because he ain't me. Hey, yo. You love Bersie to chill, dog. Say yo cheeks down. Ain't nobody want to be you. What? 
I said, sit yo, Rosie O'Donnell looking A down. Oh, now you've done it, buddy. Calm down, Anthony. Anthony, Selenia, sit back down in your seats. That's enough. You settle down too, Tyrone. Psh, whatever, dog. Fine. But I won't hesitate to leave if you keep dogging on me. I don't get paid enough for this. Okay, next up is Brandon. Please introduce yourself, buddy. Oh, um, me? Who else? This kid's so annoying. Wait, what was that? Oh, uh, nothing. Um, uh, I, uh, am Brandon? I, I mean, Brandon? I mean, crap. I, I live at home and go to school. Okay, that's it. Oh my gosh, is he serious? Get back up, my boy! This is my man's Brandon! Wait, what? He's in the market for a new lady that he totally won't cheat on. Right, Brandon? What's going on? Anthony! Huh? Uh, oh, uh, oops. My B. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I think I messed up. Yo, that's cold, dog. Yeah, seriously. I can't believe how big a jerk you can be sometimes. What happened to the sweet kid I found lo- I mean, I fell in a ditch with and carried me home. Yeah, I guess I went a little overboard. What do you mean, guess? You humiliated that poor guy. I know. You have nothing to prove, Anthony. You're like the sweetest guy I know, and yet you always act up when you're around new people. <sighs> you're right. I'll try harder. I'm not gonna let this slide. You better apologize to that Brandon guy. Yeah, I probably should. I didn't mean to hurt the kid's feelings, it's just that it drives me insane when people act the way he does. It reminds me of... well... whatever! Anthony. But don't worry, I'll apologize. Okay, good. But before that, though, let's eat up. You need to be nice and healthy for when we find you your soulmate. Anthony, shut up about that. Nope, that's the only reason I'm even here at this stupid school, so we'd better get to work. Hey you, your name's Anthony, right? Uh, yeah? I heard through the grapevine that you're new to this city. Yeah, what of it? Selenia, you can go on ahead and save me a seat. Okay. Well, I kinda sorta have no friends, so... You mind being my friend for a bit? What? Yeah, long story short, I'm incredibly handsome, so all of my male friends left me when I stole all their girls. You don't have a girlfriend, right? Um, no? Awesome. And who was that lovely lady next to you earlier? Back off, bub, before I choke you with that grapevine that you heard from me from. Oh, my bad. Is she your sister or something? She's my closest friend. Someone very dear to me. Alright, well, I'll try my best to back off from her. So, what do you say? Let's be friends. Um, sure, I guess? This isn't some kind of trick or something, right? Sweet. No trick. I'm having a sleepover with only my closest friends in two weeks. You should show up. Wait, wait, wait. But I thought you just said you didn't have any guy friends. So is it just gonna be us two and this girl? Nope. Just us two. My mommy won't let me have girls over. But don't worry. We'll be roughing it out like real bros do. Pillow fights, truth or dare, and tea parties with our stuffed animals. B-Y-O-S-A. Bring your own stuffed animal. I hope you're joking about literally everything you just said. What? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I was just kidding. <laughs> you know how buddies joke around and stuff, right? Dude, why are you so serious? What's wrong with you, man? Friends are supposed to joke around. What, have you never had a friend before? Because I've had a ton. Yeah, like 300 friends. I mean, tea parties are all the rage these days, but psh, I wouldn't do that. I think they're dumb and stupid. I think I made a mistake talking to you. Alright, well, here's my address. 
I'll see you at seven on the seventh. <laughs> you, you see what I did there with sevens? Seven on the seventh? Because seven is the time and also the day, you know, numbers that are the same. I, I put a lot of time into planning this. Uh, why, why, why aren't you laughing? Uh, okay, bye! Uh... Um, that was weird. Now, where did Selenia go? Yeah, I'm still waiting out here. Why did you leave me all alone to do this? This is gonna be so awkward. You need to learn how to do this kind of stuff on your own. Ugh, where is this guy anyways? Anthony, it's been three minutes since the bell went off. Uh, three minutes I could have been using to get home and go to bed. Just apologize to Brandon. I'm hanging up now. Don't leave me! Uh, <gasps> there he is! Hey, yo, Brandon! Brandy Yones, what's up? Brandy what now? Dude, I'm super uber duper pooper sorry, dog. Forgive me? Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, so, so, yeah, tomorrow at, in class, uh, j j just uh, uh, let everyone know that we're cool, okay? Because, like, my BFF was all on me for what I did, or whatever, and that cutie Kyle was looking at me all weird for the rest of the day. Kai... Yo, don't talk about my Kayo. Whoa, my vibes are kicking in. His emotions, they're all jumbled up. There's at least like three, no, four. I i can't tell what they are because they're all going on at the same time. Hey, y y you told me you, did you didn't have a girlfriend. Uh, um, I don't. Then why are you getting all defensive over that Kayo girl? Shut up. I don't even care about that chick. Whoa, that's pretty harsh. I saw the way she was looking at you. She's super into you. Wait, really? Seriously though, like, how so? What way? When? Where? Did, did she say anything? How many times did she blink? How long was she looking at me for? Class, right? Did she smile? Did she wink? What happened? I knew it. You love her! No, I just... Don't worry, dude. It's alright to have crushes on people. I might have had one or two in my day. I should probably ask if he's thinking about asking her out. I don't want him to get hurt by that crazy girl in my dream. So, you thinking about asking her out? Yeah, right. I wish. Why not? Well, if you couldn't tell by now, I'm kinda shy. What?! Psh, no way! Y you could've fooled me, dude! Uh, you're definitely gonna find a girl someday. Trust me, it's like I can already see it happening. You two are gonna be so in love. Er Really? Yeah, man. Just promise me one thing. W what is it? If I end up scarring you for life, I'm sorry in advance. Never cheat on her! If I ever find out that you've cheated on someone, I will literally rip off your legs and eat them for dinner! And the toes for dessert! Have you ever had pinky toe pie? It's delicious! W why are you yelling at me? I, I would never cheat on Kayo. That's what they all say, worthless scum. Next thing I know, I have their toenails stuck between my teeth. Ah, stop! Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes, yes, I I'm sorry. I'll never cheat. Perfect. And don't even try to hide it. I have eyes everywhere. I know that you put your underwear on wrong this morning. <sighs> How did you know that? I noticed it earlier when I lifted you up from your seat, you moron. I HAVE EYES EVERYWHERE! <laughs> YOU'RE A DEMON! Well, I feel like an idiot. But this was all in the best, I guess. It's better that he's afraid of me than dead in an alley. But maybe I went a little too hard on him? Oh crap. If Selenia finds out... Oh no... Oh, oh, oh crap, uh, she's gonna be so furious! Um... I'll just talk to Brandon again tomorrow. Try to be more friendly? Hey guys! 
guys, what's up? It's me, Sizzle Games, and... And Reese Skater. All right, and welcome to the first episode of Yandere City. Hey. It's, it's based off of all of those other Yandere High School role plays. We, we've been... This has been in the works for a really long time. But, yeah, if you guys don't know how this is going to work out, there are two different perspectives. So, if you want to go check out Brandon's perspective if you watch my video, or if you want to check out my perspective if you watch Brandon's video, you can go into this into the description right now and click on the link that just says Anthony's perspective or Brandon's perspective, and you can see my side of the story or Brandon's side of the story. So it's going to be two separate stories that kind of come together, and yeah, there's like there's two complete stories, but once they come together, it becomes an even more complete story if that makes any sense. So, take it away with the whole scheduling. So, the scheduling is going to consist of every single Friday we're going to be uploading a new episode. So, we're going to keep it consistent because this is a series that, you know, has been taking time in the making. And we are really enjoying the script and really enjoying, you know, recording it. So, we're going to keep it constant for you guys to, for you guys to enjoy it every single Friday. All right, and finally, one last thing that I do want to mention is a special thank you to all of the people that participated in the whole auditioning thing that I did. I uploaded a video not too long ago saying I need some new voice actors. What I really was trying to look for was a couple of voice actresses, mainly for this series, because Brandon and I had no friends on YouTube that were girls. So we were able to come across a few that wanted to help out and that is definitely a very good thing because i mean there's gonna be a ton tons of different girl characters in this series and brandon can't do his girl voice for every single one of them <laughs> so that's true yeah so that that's pretty much where that came from so all the males that that auditioned right now you guys are kind of like we we put the best ones on a list you guys will definitely be contacted at some point in the future but right now we were mainly looking for females so yeah Right, and make sure you guys do go in that description right now and go watch the other person's video. You will love how we make the perspectives and the stories, and it's going to come together so greatly. Just go down there. Go down there now. Click it. Go watch the video. Yee!